Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics, back with another video tutorial for Adobe Illustrator. Today I'm going to show you how to create this colourful extruded isometric text effect. It has a 3D appearance with hollowed out letters, finished off with a vivid spectrum of hues and a subtle glowing appearance. It's a relatively simple effect to create that makes use of a combination of must-know Illustrator tools. To begin creating this 3D isometric text effect, set up a new document in Adobe Illustrator. The size can be any dimensions since we're creating scalable vector art, but I prefer to go to view and hide artboards to give myself a larger work area. Let's first set up the colour palette we'll be using for our colourful effect. Create a new colour group in the swatches panel, then add three new swatches, starting with a dark blue of 0, 34 and 130 in RGB values. Create a pinkish red of 235, 9 and 95 next followed by a yellow of 247, 182 and 0. Select the type tool and set out your desired wording. I'm using the font League Gothic, which can be activated from the Adobe Fonts library by following the link in the description. Leave the text with a fill for a solid effect, but to create a hollowed out text effect, switch the fill to a stroke in the toolbar. Increase its weight to around 5 points. The first illustrator tool we'll be making use of is Extrude and Bevel from under the Effect, 3D and Materials menu. However, this tool was recently updated and doesn't work like it used to. The new interface works just fine, it provides all the same options as before, but in a slightly different layout. We need to set the depth to 0, then change the angle to the isometric top preset. Go to Object and Expand Appearance to permanently apply this effect. The trouble is, if you zoom in and turn on outline mode for a second, you'll see this effect is now being created in raster format. A massive step back for what's supposed to be vector software. But don't worry, thankfully the original tool is still accessible. Undo all those changes, then go to Effect, 3D Materials, 3D Classic and Extrude and Bevel Classic. Veteran Illustrator users will be much more familiar with this options panel. Set up the same options of isometric top and zero depth. Then go to Object and Expand Appearance. You'll see the artwork has been converted to vector outlines as you would expect. With the Move tool active, hold the Alt and Shift keys and drag the text vertically to create a duplicate. Offset it from the original slightly. Use the Command and D shortcut or Ctrl and D on Windows, or go to the Object Transform and Transform Again menu to place another copy of the text the same distance apart. Apply some colour by selecting a swatch for each of the three copies, yellow at the top, then pink, then blue at the bottom. Select the top yellow object again, then go to edit and copy. We'll save this in the clipboard for use later. Draw a selection around all three objects, then go to object, blend and make. Head straight back to object, blend and blend options. Change the method to specified steps. Then increase the number so it's a high enough amount to smooth out the jaggy appearance between all the instances of the blend effect. If you deselect you might see some visual glitches. Expanding the blend effect under the objects and expand menu can often make it look much smoother on screen. Go to edit and paste in front to place that copied yellow object back on top of this blend effect. Double click the fill colour and brighten up the yellow. Go to Effect, Stylize and Outer Glow to add a subtle glow effect. Change the colour to an off-white and click OK on the other default settings. As a finishing touch, draw a rectangle that covers the text effect. Give it the blue fill from the colour scheme, then edit the fill and darken the colour. Right click and choose a range, centre back to place the rectangle behind the text effect to act as a background. The final result is a colourful 3D isometric text effect with a vibrant fade between different hues. By choosing three different colours before the blend step, you could create endless colour schemes. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learned any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.